so wireframe circle and select the center point now what is the diameter so 50 diameter okay just go to here and the diameter is 50 just mention the diameter and again you don't click green color just click this blue color because another diameter is there so just go to the drawing so here the id is 42 inner diameter okay just go to here and mention the diameter 42 and place the diameter at the center of the origin okay now click ok now right click isometric now go to solid extrude and now go to outer circle click ok so how much of distance just go to the drawing and see here 8mm okay just go to here and mention the 8mm in distance now again click blue color and now go to again the id inner diameter is the cut body so how much of cut body here you see 5 mm 5 mm is the cut body so just uh, one one thing you always keep on mind so this hidden line this hidden lines are mentioned that is the part removal okay so that is very very important so you always keep on mind so just go to select this circle and please you give cut body and how much of length 5 mm now click ok now go to here and how much this square 20 20 and here also 20 just go to here right click top view wireframe rectangle and select this one and here you give 20 and here also you give 20 and click ok now see in front view that's that square is not merged at the bottom of the depth it is standing at the top of the center point in such case if you extrude the box means it is not extruded from the bottom of the circle okay it is extruded at the top of the circle so this way is the wrong way so first move that square piece at the bottom of the cut body okay just go to transform so here translate you just select the rectangle and give end selection so here you give is it minus 5 so why i am giving minus 5 that minus 5 is the cut body depth okay so just minus 5 and give move and click ok now see it is totally settled at the bottom of the depth now go to solid extrude now click this one and click ok now here you give add boss ok so here you give add boss why sir what is the difference between create, create body and add boss yesterday I told to you that is the difference between create body and add boss means create body means separate separate body will create in such case after you create so just go to boolean and add that multiple body into the single body but add boss is the shortcut shortcut means you prevent that boolean option so add boss means already one body existing body you create a new body that is the add boss okay so now i give add boss and change the direction now how much 19 mm 19 mm is here but we develop the body here so this one is the 5 mm this one is the 19 mm so total how much 24 mm okay now go to master cam mention the distance here 24 now the body is created now click ok now this both are in single body that's why i make it add boss ok now the third option top side cutting so how much does this one 12 mm 12 mm 12 mm square how much the depth of cut 12 mm ok 
just go to here right click top and here you just go to here rectangle and select this center point and here you give 12 mm and here also you give 12 mm enter now click ok but but the rectangle is goes down why what will happen now see in front control plus T that rectangle is settled down at the bottom side how it is happened sir what mistake is happened now go to front view and go to view and switch on the show nanomus now see my WCS it is in this side so this one is the WCS so the WCS is where it is you have in case you draw any line any circle any rectangle means that rectangle circle is settled down in where where the WCS is placed okay so now there is a two options I teach you so now I go to here and go to transform translate and select this one clear selection and once again this one this one this one this one end selection now just I move to here 19 mm why I am giving 19 mm because the rectangle is placed at the top side of the inner body so what is the height of the inner body see here 19 mm my rectangle is sitting here now so 19 mm so that's why I am giving here 90 click ok now control T this is the one way ok another way I show to you so go to here is it 19 ok so type the value 19 mm so 19 here now I top top view and now I go to here rectangle and select this one and now I am giving here 12 mm and now I am giving here 12 mm click ok now see control T so again that is goes to downside but I am giving the value here 19 mm but it is goes to downside why means just I switch off the WCS now again I delete that one now again I go to top view now again I go to the rectangle yes now see if I marking the center point the Z is automatically goes to 0 see Z is 0 so Z is 0 means if I draw any rectangle circle means that is automatically settled down to the wherever the WCS is sitting ok so this option is not good so in case I am not select the center point here I am selecting now see automatically Z19 is came see the difference I am placing mouse here Z0 I am placing mouse here Z19 now I am click here 12 mm 12 mm ok now see automatically the box is at top side so this is the difference ok now once again I delete that one Now go to transform, translate and select this one and end selection. Now give Z axis 19 mm. So I already told to you, I think you people is not listening. This blue color arrow mark is the Z axis. This red color arrow mark is the X axis. This green color arrow mark is the Y axis. Okay, please note down blue color arrow mark is the red z axis red color arrow mark is the x axis and green color arrow mark is the y axis 
so after you only decide in which axis you moving the entity now i click okay now control t now solid extrude and select that one okay now give cut body and change the direction and now i click here 12 mm so why 12 mm see here 12 mm cut body okay okay now how to open the box mouth how to open this mouth i show to you only one hint is there that hint is 8 mm 8 mm this only the hint okay now i go to the master cam top view and go to wireframe rectangle and select here yes now go to height is 8 mm sorry sorry not 8 mm wait 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 with this 8 mm sorry okay with this 8 mm and height is user defined because i want to open the rectangle so open the rectangle means this rectangle size is how much 20 mm so here i am giving 22 just enlarge 22 now i click okay now it is settled in this side okay it is settled in this side now just go to transform translate control t so this one wait clear selection yes this one this one this one this one end selection so is it axis because blue color na blue color is it axis only na so just i clicking from uh, this point to and to this middle point is that okay see in top view no it is not okay so once again escape press escape just go to translate this one this one this one this one end selection <coughs> go to is it axis so or otherwise you just click this blue color and trace down top side or otherwise you see in front view yes now see yes 19 number so 19 enter and enter now click okay <coughs> now go to control plus t solid extrude and select this chain okay and now you give cut body 12 mm and click okay finish now delete all entities see here select all wireframe entities click that one and delete finish so simple very very simple just logic so think logically think brilliantly think smartly and done the design okay so very 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 so i think after this course completion <laughs> you are be a intelligent person definitely definitely you be a intelligent person because you think lot na so thinking lots means definitely our our skill will improve our brain will improve so definitely you are be a intelligent person so this is the way of making this cut body so just a one trick i one trick i done here what is the trick so only one hint that people is giving to me 8 mm is the width but how can i open means this is a 20 so just i make 22 22 means it's open na size is big so definitely it will open the rectangle that is the logic okay so we move to the second this one so keep practice keep practice so every day i told to you keep practice keep practice okay
okay now this drawing also top view this one is the top view this one is the top view and this one also top view but here that design is not mentioned that chamfer angle see here there is a no angle present on it i think that designer is forgot to mention the chamfer angle but no problem we people having the simple trick because we people are the intelligent person okay we are not a diploma student we are not a engineering student we are a intelligent student so just go to here master cam file new ah one thing one thing i forgot to tell you if i'm going to save this one now see the solid is not saved so why means all the entities are deleted okay in this case the solid the solid is not saved so no problem just give s just go to folder any folder your wish okay i just cat folder and here i just mention exercise number 3 now here i am saving step file see here step file just click save now i go to file open computer browse and going to that folder master cam file cat file so here just click all files okay all files select all files now go to exercise 3 open don't save uh now it is came so step file okay step file means it is automatically supported autocad file solidworks file creo cataya anything okay so now we move to the th fourth drawing okay so the first reference is 52 52 on rectangle wire frame rectangle center point 52 52 okay now the another 37 37 rectangle center point 37 37 now third clue 18 18 just go to rectangle and select the center point 18 18 and next 11 11 just go to rectangle and center point 11 11 now just click isometric so all are in top view because top view is enough because all are in top view facing top view na in isometric see isometric is like a top view na so all are in top view so now one by one i just splitting so here the 18 into 18 so this box this box is the 18 into 18 and this 11 is the top cutting cut body okay 11 into 11 so now what is the height of this box see 18 mm see here 18 mm that that box is sitting now go to transform translate and select this one this one this one this one end selection here what is the direction is it this blue color is the is it axis na just go to is it 18 enter don't give copy just move copy means there is a two entities select placed okay so just move and click okay now go to solid oh sorry sorry <laughs> i i <laughs> translated the 37 sorry sorry my mistake my mistake transform translate this one this one this one this one end selection and 18 now click okay now go to solid extrude and select the bottom click okay how much 5 mm okay 5 mm just go to here give 5 okay 
now go to solid loft l o f t loft just go to loft and select this chain and select this chain and click okay now automatically add boss click add boss now click okay now automatically the chamfer is created so simple very very simple now one time i explain to you so go to loft and first you select the base this one so very very important is in which line you are selecting so now i am selecting this line so what is the direction clockwise the arrow mark green color arrow mark it is in clockwise direction now same line i am selecting this this box also same line same line i am selecting same clockwise direction now click okay now body is created now body is created okay now go to extrude so bottom side fire mark okay now loft so now i am selecting this line but the direction see here but the direction is anti clockwise now i am selecting this line same the direction is anti clockwise now i am going to select the direction is clockwise now see what will happen sorry sorry wait one time i show to you loft so i am selecting this line direction is clockwise now i am selecting same that line but i give the different direction anti clockwise so this one is the clockwise direction and this one is the anti clockwise direction now see the loft is not created he giving the warning message so this is the condition for making the loft so same direction same direction only the loft is created opposite opposite direction means the loft is not created okay second thing now i am selecting this line clockwise direction now i am selecting this line not this line this line but the direction is clockwise now see twisted see totally twisted so this is the another shortcut for twisting making the twisting solid body okay now another option i show to you loft now i am selecting same this line clockwise direction now i am selecting not this line this line not this line this line i am selecting this line same clockwise direction now i am click okay warning see here warning the twisted is not complete <laughs> because i skip this line i directly go to this line so that is the twisted is not completed so this is the one of the condition so these are all very very important for making lofting okay so don't make mistake so now i am selecting loft this one clock direction same this line clock direction okay add boss okay now control t our our chota box is settled here <laughs> okay our chota box is settled here now go to transform translate and select the chota box in selection and just move is it how much 18 mm but not 18 mm boy please remember that is not 18 mm just go to here and see what is the cut body it is settled at the top of the box so how much here 18 here 8 so total 26 mm 26 mm okay just go to master cam and here you mention 26 click okay now go to solid extrude and extrude this body click okay and give add boss and change the direction how much 8 mm correct see here 8 mm so give 8 mm 
now ok now control t now you give extrude cut body so not create body please add cut body change the direction finish that's it drawing is completed so so every day every day i give three to four drawing practice until 50 drawings i help you not not only 50 drawings 60 80 drawings i help you but after 200 drawings you have to practice in case any drawing you have you, you are feeling difficult means no problem you just send the drawing to my whatsapp id i will help you okay now i go to file new now we are going to practice the last third drawing so after tomorrow this one this one and this one and this one tomorrow okay now i am going to take this drawing okay now i go to here and take right click front view and here also front view now go to here so draw this one and give extrude the process is completed so simple or otherwise you draw this body this one only this one this one and extrude that's it you draw this one boy I am just telling see here you draw this this face and just give extrude how much of mm 52 mm that's it let's draw okay so 24 mm it's the starting just go to here wireframe <coughs> line midpoint select this one 24 mm 0 degree ok you can now go to here now this is how much 6 mm 6 mm 60 degree ok 60 degree 6 mm now go to line and select this line so change to end point don't keep midpoint midpoint means this will happen so place to end point and select this one and click here length is 6 mm and the angle is 60 degree now give blue color and tick this one 6 mm and the angle is 120 degree yes why sir why you give 120 degree it's a common thing man because here 60 degree means here 120 degree now 60 plus 60 120 now that is a common thing <laughs> okay so that's why i'm giving 120 degree here 60 degree means here 120 degree enough like a protector protector 90 degree 0 degree 60 degree so the line is sitting there means 120 degree okay so next one this distance this distance this distance how much just guess how much that distance that distance I think the total entire height is 33 mm correct entire from this point to this point 33 mm entire this block height is 13 mm this block height this block height is 13 mm okay so 13 mm means already 6 mm is minus so total how much 7 mm correct 7 mm okay now I am going to here 7 mm 90 degree correct ok so next to this one is this length is 26 ok that length is 26 yes just go to here line 
मिड पॉइंट ट्वेंटी सिक्स जीरो डिग्री ओके बट सॉरी आई मेड वन मिस्टेक दिस इज नॉट सेवन एम एम टोटल थर्टीन एम एम सॉरी सॉरी आई मेड अ मिस्टेक थर्टीन एम एम सॉरी फ्रॉम बेस पॉइंट टू थर्टीन एम एम now i go to line mid point select this one and give how much 26 mm this width from this point to this point 26 mm just go to here 26 mm 0 degree yes now what is the height this height how much this height so total height is 33 okay 33 You minus six mm in thirty three, okay? So minus six thirty three. How much? I think twenty uh, seven. Okay, twenty seven. I think I'm asking about this height. This one. How much this height? So that one I'm asking. So you cannot able to find this height means I give one shortcut. Okay, just a trip one trick. so what is the trick i just give you just make a large line large line keep two end point large line but 180 degree don't keep the angle don't change okay 180 degree and again you make the large line so that line is 270 degree and go to divide and trim this one this one complete a <laughs> okay this is one of the simple trick why means you people are cannot able to calculate that this height means just done this way just go to here once again i told to you keep to end point select this one and keep the angle is 0 degree okay because 0 degree is the straight line 0 degree and keep here 270 degree make large line without without dimension large line but degree is same 0 degree 270 degree now go to divide and trim this one this one finish now right click isometric now the center line also delete now go to solid extrude and select this one click okay now change the direction how much total length 52 mm just click here 52 finish bottom body is completed okay now go to this shape this one so in front view this is the front view this one is the top view and this one is the right side view okay so front view so what is the reference one clue is there what is the clue this point to this whole center point is 10 mm After 10 mm, what is the another clue? Radius 10. So just go to here, right, right side view, and select C plane also right side view. Okay. Now go to here. Okay. So 10 mm, and radius is 10. so radius radius is 10 means what is the diameter 10 into 2 20 mm diameter correct now go to master cam okay why why sir you changing the right side view it's a common thing man see here it is sitting at the right side na see side view side view it is sitting na so that's why right click right side view and here also right side view now go to wireframe line and select this point and make 20 mm length that is the radius 10 mm radius so the length is 20 so give the angle 180 degree okay now you measured here how much the center clue clue 
10 mm 10 mm where 10 mm here to here see this point this point to the circle is 10 mm okay now go to here give Ten mm, ninety degree. But this is a wrong way. Another way I told to you: line and place the mouse here center point. So now click here. Ten mm, draw reference line. Finish. Now go to circle and select here. So what is the diameter? Ten dia. Okay. Just make here ten. Yes. Now once again click this one and go to center point. So what is the radius? 10. Now go to here and mention the radius. Okay. Now go to line and select the circle midpoint and from here to here. Finish. Okay. Now go to divide and trim this one. Trim this one. And trim this one, trim this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay. Now go to line and join. Finish. That's it. So go to solid, extrude. How much? See in top view, 7 mm, see, 7 mm, okay, just go to here, so 7 mm, finish, now I am going to mirror, going to mirror the function, okay, transform, mirror and select this one, this one, this one, this one, this one and this circle, end selection, but the mirror is there. Now go to here the Y axis. Finish. Okay. How sir? How you keep means in mirror, mirror is like a, we standing in front of the mirror and seeing the mirror. Ambulance. Ambulance name you seeing in the mirror means what will happen? Alphabet A is direction is changed like a opposite. In mirror, in mirror you seeing the word means opposite. That's why I am changing. So I, I want to place the solid body in X axis. X axis means that only I selecting Y axis. Opposite, that is a mirror. Okay. If I want to place the solid body in Y axis means I selecting X axis. Now see, it is settled in Y axis. So X plus, X minus, Y plus, Y minus z plus z minus but now my body is keeping in x axis so that's why i'm selecting y axis opposite so mirror function is the opposite function okay now i click okay now go right click clear colors now go to solid boolean and select any one body first now go to tool body add selection select this one this one okay and ok now go to extrude and select this one ok cut body now give through all finish ok very easy don't worry ok very easy drawings so now go to this one so right click top view and here also keep top now go to what is the clue only one clue is there from here to here 10 mm here to here 13 mm okay just go to here wireframe line here to here 10 mm and then here to here 13 mm 30 13 sorry oh yes 13 mm so here to here 10 mm, here to here 13 mm. Okay. Now go to circle and select this end point, first end point. So how much the radius? 
radius is 5 both the sides this also 5 this also 5 just go to here and mention the radius 5 and again blue color tick mark and select this point and keep 5 click ok now go to line tangent select tangent and select here to here and select here to here now go to divide and trim this line this line this one this one this one this one and this one and this one click ok finish now go to solid and select this one sorry sorry extrude and select this one ok now give cut body so how much I think it is in through hole ok I think yeah it is in through hole so see here through hole the hidden line see this is a right side view na in right side view you see through hole ok so give through all ok completed now see control T transparent through hole is created here through hole is created everything is fine now again control plus T now go to control A home and change the colorful which color you want yes now the job is completed so keep watch my video practice daily daily four to five drawings okay so today our class section is over so today how many drawings we completed I think three drawings right yes first one second one and third one tomorrow one two three four five five drawings the first one to ten section is over okay so today video i sent to